I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We you know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil prices. But first, get up out of your chairs, go to the window, stick your head out and yell and say, Choose what? Choose what to choose. What choice do we really have? What to choose? Choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose a fucking big television, choose washing machines, cars, compactors, players and electrical tin openers, choose good health, low cholesterol and dental insurance, choose fixed interest mortgage repayments, choose a starting home, choose your friends, choose your leisure wear and matching baggage, choose a three-piece suit and eye purchase and a range of fucking fabrics, choose DIY and wondering who the fuck you are on Sunday morning, choose sitting on that couch watching mind-numbing spirit-crushing game shows, stuffing fucking junk food into your mouth, choose rotting away at the end of it all, as in your life and a miserable home. Nothing more than an embarrassment to the selfish fucked up rats you spawn to replace yourselves. Choose your future. Choose life. Uh, yeah.